Hey everybody, welcome to Condor Thoughts. We've got another episode right now for you. So we've got another episode. Welcome new subscribers, everybody. Thank you for mashing that subscribe button. Uh, drop a comment, tell me where you're from. I'm trying to just interact with people and it's fun to get to know people. I've gotten several emails uh, from um, viewers. I've gotten two emails from lawyers, uh, which I was mildly like slight nervous, like what's going on? Why do I have an email from a lawyer? But uh, one guy was from Texas and one guy actually from Kentucky. Uh, you know who you are. Um, but no, I appreciate it. It's, 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 it's cool to see like stuff work. Cause you kind of think like, well, you know, <clears throat> how does this, how does this really work? You know, does this, are people really watching this? Do people really benefit or learn? Um, and then you see it in action and you realize, oh, this is actually kind of cool. So again, you know who you are. Uh, you guys can drop comments if you want, say hi. If you don't want to, that's fine too. But <laughs> it's not a big deal. It was just, it was just funny. Uh, my webmaster, as it were, the guy who runs our website, he sent me because I don't get the emails. If you go to the church's website, I don't see the emails always. So he forwarded it to me, and then he, but he texted me first the website of the first guy, the first lawyer, uh, who had just said, "Hey, great content, appreciate your work, this and that." <laughs> and I was like, "Are we getting sued? What's going on?" He's like, "I don't think so. Wait, check your email." <laughs> anyway, it was really funny. So. Thanks, guys. Um, but you can actually also go on my about, and it will email my Gmail that's attached to the to the YouTube account as well. Or you can talk to me on Gab if you want to do that. I'm on there a little more, uh, and technically I'm on Facebook with my wife, but I we really don't post there much at all. But you can find us that way too. So if you want to say something, not in the comments. That's uh, that's pretty cool. Anyway, I think I said anyway like 40 times. We're gonna watch a quick video. This is hypocrites in action. We all love hypocrites, right? I mean, who doesn't love a hypocrite? A good old hypocrite. You know, just somebody who's just like, do this. And they do literally completely the opposite. It's just, just brings a little joy to our hearts, doesn't it? Let's watch. It's a video from the Daily Caller. Is that what it is? DC Shorts. I don't know, this is from a couple days ago. Let's listen. I had a good time at the Black Cat, and I think it's sad that um, this is even a story. Um, the fact is, um, there was something that was really um, monumental that was heard. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, ten. Tony, 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 the original members, the brothers, Raphael Sadiq, and Dwayne Wiggins, they are just really um, some of the most incredible artists in the history of this country and the Bay Area in particular. And the fact that that is getting lost here is very unfortunate. These incredible musicians who performed and who really uplifted the spirits of not just myself, Listen but all my phone. the people who were there. We you know, phones. I was there, You're watching on I your was phone. eating, and I was drinking, and I was sitting with my friends, listen, listen, listen. and everyone who came in there was vaccinated. So the fact that we have turned this into a story about being maskless, no, I'm not going to sip and put my mask on, sip and put my mask on, sip and put my mask on, eat and put my mask on. While I'm eating and I'm drinking, I'm going to keep my mask off. We were all having a good time. And again, all vaccinated. So the fact that this... Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> what, kind of, what kind of cat is that? What kind of dog you got there? Oh, it's a London breed. Oh, no, no, no. I'm not talking about the mayor of San Francisco. I'm talking about what kind of cat do you have? No, London breed. That's the name of the mayor. London breed. I don't know. She's... An incredibly weird name. So what's going on here? Well, what's going on here is that the mayor of San Francisco, one of the most pristinely liberal, ragingly progressive, leftist, socialist, commie type cities. Very beautiful. I've been there a few times. Very beautiful, very hilly, foggy. You got so much iconic stuff, right? Golden Gate Bridge, of course, Alcatraz, the Trans America building with the peak. 
movie after movie, TV show after TV show, right? Full House, Robin Williams movies, tons and tons of stuff. San Francisco, very iconic. Very sad because you basically can't have a family in San Francisco. Not because of all the alphabet people uh, and just the rampant immorality and the people that defecate on the street and use needles. Used needles are all over the place. Um, or people that just sit naked, which you can legally do so long as you're sitting on something, a piece of plastic or a piece of cardboard. You can be out naked outside, that's fine, but you just got to be sitting on something, you know, just a little cushion. None of that, none of the drug use or, or the rampant immorality, anything like that, but just simply the fact that it's so dang expensive. So expensive. There's no way you could have any sort of an actual semblance of a family you know, four kids, three kids, one kid for that matter. I mean, it's literally a child desert. There's no, there's no children. But again, that's not the issue. The issue is the mayor was at a club, the black cat, I think she said, and Tony, 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 and some other cool bands were there performing. Okay, great. And, um, you know, she's there listening to the music. Okay. Well, if you saw in the video... There's like a dozen people in frame. You can see the mayor back there. Now, what her story is, I was eating and drinking. And I'm not going to do back and forth with my mask and no mask and eating. and Except for that's what Governor Newsom, your governor, who used to be the mayor of San Francisco, the one who won his recall election by 66%. <laughs> right. Um, yeah, the same voting systems we had in the fall for the national election, I'm sure. Uh, it's a most secure election of all time. Um, he said you have to sit and eat and this and take it off between bites. I'm not going to go find the video, but you can go find it. Newsom said that months and months ago. The tyrant Newsom, the petty tyrant, is the king of this lady, London Bree, the mayor of San Francisco. And yet, she's like, I'm not going to do that. Well, isn't that what he said you're supposed to do? So... That's hypocrisy. Now, we're not even talking about the French Laundry and when Newsom went to the Napa elite, elite dinner um, unmasked with a bunch of people that weren't from his household. I think it was during what, Christmas time in the spring, something like that. I think it was Christmas time. You know, telling everybody to stay home, do this, this, and this. These leftist politicians, and there's some on the right too, I'm sure, but it's routinely democratic. I mean, anybody, if, you, if you're watching this and you vote democratic, or you're still like, ah, uh, is this not enough for you to vote some other way? <laughs> to I mean, they're literal hypocrites. They're liars. They're deceivers. She says, I'm not going to do this, even though the governor said you should do that when you're eating, even in, your, in there. There's over a dozen people there, and they're all vaccinated. Are you for real right now? Really? Do you have proof of that? Bet you don't. Bet you didn't even do that. And bet one of your aides said, oh, ah, uh, say this. But also, by the way, that doesn't actually matter because it's the unvaccinated that are causing the problem for the vaccinated. So even if you're vaccinated, you still should be wearing a mask according to these, according to the leftist logic. And I use the word logic very generously. It doesn't make any sense, people. Literally makes no sense. So she's there, and she's not even eating, right? That's, that's the best part. You can see this extended clip of, you know, 20, 30 seconds, unbroken. She's not eating. She's not drinking. Now, maybe there's food right there, but she's not doing back and forth. She's singing. Now, let's not forget the governor, again, Governor Newsom, the tyrant of California. Governor Newsom, the tyrant of California, said, you can't sing in church. Now, I think he maybe lifted this ban after he's lost cases and other people have lost cases against churches because that's literally ridiculous and unconstitutional in every way. And just against our God-given freedoms. But like the hypocrisy, it, it, just, it just blows the mind. And then what's worse, what's worse, what's the worst is this type of breed here, London. She... Then doesn't even acknowledge it all. Doesn't say sorry. Doesn't say, ah, I messed up. You're right. I apologize. I'm sorry you were offended. None of it. She says, well, you're missing the point that we have music and these are culturally relevant people in San Francisco and they're really good and they're one of the best bands of all time. That's not what I asked there, uh, Miss Breed. Is it? 
did I ask that? Did this? No, they didn't ask that. They said probably something along the lines of, why were you unmasked? Well, uh, because we were all vaccinated and well, I'm not going to do this thing. Yeah, I'm not going to do it either. And no one should do that. But the worst part is, the worst part is that London Breed, the mayor of San Francisco, <clears throat> such a good city, by the way, I mentioned all the needles, right? And the defecation and the naked people. I mentioned that, right? It's a good city. Um, she has the mask mandate, even outside in many places. Oregon just did it. It put it back in. Well, the Delta, blah, 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 blah. Is this not utter stupidity? So is it now just the fact that we have people who all see the hypocrisy and we vote against it, but that doesn't really matter because the voting systems aren't exactly, well, maybe we'll talk about that another time. Another time, nutter time, (laughs) N-U-T-T-E-R. Excuse me, allergies a little heinous. Anyway, I just hope you got a good laugh, if nothing else, and just thankful that you're probably not in San Francisco uh, and that this woman represents you as mayor, represents you. Again, use the words loosely. Hypocrites, I don't care what aisle you're on. We're going to see you. We're going to find you out. And both in this life and especially in the next, hypocrisy is nothing short of lying. It's bearing false witness, breaking the ninth commandment, going against your neighbor, not loving your neighbor, not representing Christ properly. Even if you're not a Christian, you're still under the lordship of Christ. You will be found out. This isn't about live music or not. You could lift the ban and say, hey, you know what? Like Norway just did. They're like... No more restrictions. Pandemic over. Sweden hasn't done anything. Let's not forget that. South Dakota still hasn't done anything. At least last I checked. You could lift the ban. You could realize, you know what? Nobody got sick. Nobody big deal. Vaccinated? Fine. Be vaccinated. No mask. Well, but that's not the rule, is it? And the back and forth, that's the rule. But you're not going to do that. I'm not going to do that, she says. Hypocrisy. Lies. And then... To top it all off, she spins it and says, how dare you get upset at me for not talking, you're talking about this when you should be talking about how great this legendary band is. <laughs> what? Seriously? You're, you're serious. Okay, sure, yeah. I'll just, I'll just put the scales back over my eyes and the blindfold and stop up my ears with a bunch of clay and just spin my head around and just hope I don't fall off a cliff. Yeah. That's right. Thanks. Thanks, London Breed, for being such a great and wonderful mayor. Have a nice day. (sighs) Y'all have a good night. Good day. Whatever time you're watching this. Um, Like and subscribe. I'd really appreciate it. It does help the content uh, push out. The algorithm knows to push it to more people and to be against the world for the sake of the world. That's my goal, to help you see that, to show, to basically uh, refine iron sharpening iron, as the scripture says, and see this type of nonsense. Call it out for what it is, and realize what it is. So, hope you find hope this finds you well. And uh, until next time, take care.